Okay, so today we're learning to multiply numbers by 10, 100, or 1,000. So if we first of all start on with one that we know really well, if we had 3 times 10, we know that it is 30. So we had 3, we multiplied it by 10, we had to move that make it 3 tens and no ones. So the 3 just moved over a column and we added a 0. So because we multiplied by 10, you can see that there's 1, 0, and 10, so we add 1, 0 to the end. So what then happens if we're working with a little bit bigger numbers? We'll try with 23. So we can put in our 23. We want to multiply it by 10. We know that 3 times 10 is 30, so we'll put 3 in the 10 space. Two t 20 times 10 is 200. So again, everything's just moved one step to the left, and it becomes 230. The 23 has stayed the same, and we've added 1, 0, because we're multiplying by 10. So when we multiply by 10, we add 1, 0. I wonder what happens if we're multiplying by 100. So we can put back in our 23. This time we know that 3 times 100 is going to give us 300. And 20 times 100 gives us 2000. So our number becomes now 2300. The 23 has stayed the same. And this time we've added two zeros to the end because we have had two zeros on the hundred, so we put two zeros at the end. If you're working with a number that you don't know, a number in the middle, so for example, if we had 56 times something equals 5,600, you can see that the 56 has stayed the same. We've added on two zeros, so it's going to be 100. Two zeros, two zeros at the end. If we had a number, we didn't know the first number, and we were multiplying it by 1000, it has become... 45,000, we can see that there's 45 and three zeros at the end, so this number must be 45. So remember when you're multiplying by 10, add one zero, multiplying by 100, add two zeros, and multiplying by 1,000, add three zeros.